Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Garcias! Oh, you, you... You shook my goddamn guts out! Joan was in on it! We did it on her orders! I'm... I'm sorry! It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag! I'll help you! I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this! Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. Strike one! I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. All right, but let's make it quick. Go on. Don't keep your fan waiting. Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. No, thanks. Whatever. You sucked anyway. You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Ooh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. 
but I do, and I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't blame that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hobby. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Garcia's hot streak is cooling. On purpose. I think I got a few more swings in me. You in? Ah, oh, David! David, what's wrong? Come back! I'm sorry, man. I was trying to keep it together. I'm not good at talking like this. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. Oh, take a breath. I'll hear you out, but this doesn't have to be an argument. I'm worried about you, man. I can't be the star's older brother anymore. I gotta go where I can be my own man. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. Dude, g going back to the army isn't gonna fix what's wrong with your life. You should just, you know, think this through a little more. I have been thinking it through. For months. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around to, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Hobby? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey! Everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. But you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place- It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Ugh. This is bad. What are we going to do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah. You talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. You can do it again. Now. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. 
I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. to survive no matter what you don't have to worry they're safe for now we have to get them out of town both of us you're right No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. You never give up on anybody. And I'm not going to give up on you. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared.
scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. David deserves a fair shot. He doesn't need to be replaced. If he was as good as you say, he wouldn't be in this position, would he? You set me up! Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Ugh, nothing useful here. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. That's not gonna work. <sighs> Locked. I'm not getting out through here. doesn't look very sturdy. Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. come loose. <clears throat> nope. Could squeeze through there. No time to rest.
I've been looking everywhere for you. Gabe? Where did they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Is Kate doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. And Eleanor's watching her just in case. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They've still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing, aren't they? They wouldn't do anything to him. You don't have to shut me out like this. I can handle the truth. All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. <sighs> Fine. Figure it out myself. But don't get in my way. Hold up. Everything's gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. It's bad. This place is going to hell. We're gonna need to find somewhere to lay low and hope for the best. With Dad. Don't forget about Dad. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. Oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside.
you think we should be a thing? I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Look. I just don't know. It's shown me that I'm good at helping people. I missed you. I missed you too. Of us like they want you would you be happy never seeing me again so I just can't do this now oh hey uh, hey trip look who's here hey guys uh, hey <clears throat> where have you been Joan threw me and David in jail if you can believe it great so you gave these people more reason to hate us what is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi. Sorry. We can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. One would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. Damn straight we do. And we might have to face those muertos. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh-huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy.
Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate, Mariana. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. <sighs> we 
whatever. <gasps> Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. Get away from me! Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah! sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, oh, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. So did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. 
I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Here we go. Cody? Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <sighs> Just pills. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that guy is really out of it. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. 
It'll make sense to you one day, Clem. You'll realize David did what he needed to do for AJ. For you. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Just don't forget to look out for number one. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone, or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head. Helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you. You know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. There's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Glenn. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? That was fast. There's not much to it. The wound was pretty clean. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... Sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ.
When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Why don't you do it yourself? I, I can't. I'm a fucking coward. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to... Handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you. And your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, I'm right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. You're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. 
What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He was... definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this! Yeah! We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated. From us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. It's not a bad place to start, and it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there. And I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. 
I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We could take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer. You'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... Just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. <laughs> 